I have been getting a lot of requests to make recipes and I am trying to do my best. So I assure you that if you have made a request, it will come but sometimes it may take time. Namaste, Salam Walaikum, Sasriya Kal. Welcome back to another session with your wash chef at Vareva.com. Today, I am going to make instant vegetable biryani. When it is chicken or mutton, you know, the flavors uh, come out very easily because of that uh, strong umami flavors that are present in the meats. But in the vegetables, you have to make little effort. But the vegetable biryanis, if made right, they are even more tastier than any biryanis. First, we need to fry the vegetables. Add some oil in a pan. Based on, you know, some vegetables take a little longer time, some vegetables take much easier. The end of it, you want all the vegetables to be fried perfectly. I've got this raw papaya. Even raw papaya I'm going to use here. Let these vegetables fry a little bit. You can add any vegetables. Add just a little bit of salt in this uh, oil and then, you know, try and cut all the vegetables in pretty much similar size or shape also if preferred. Potatoes, carrot. More colors are added, the better biryani looks. Beans, just saute these vegetables. Once these are almost done, then you can add vegetables like mushroom. In fact, broccoli or even mushroom just need one minute of cooking. You do not want to fry these vegetables too much because I have seen people frying the vegetables in such a way, in the end, they will look like as if they crippled or something like that. In this, add mushroom, add broccoli, and just saute it one minute. Another trick we use in the hotels is we add pinch of flavoring salt. You know, flavoring salt, a lot of people, you know, misunderstand this flavoring salt. It is extract from the vegetables. It gives a very nice flavoring. Even in a lot of the biryani masalas you buy in the market, have this flavoring salt within. Just adding pinch of flavoring salt. You do not want to cook these vegetables more than this. Just take a plate, look at the colors of these vegetables. You want the vegetables to be still looking fresh because they will go further cooking along with the rice. You know, a lot of people, they don't add whole spices nowadays. If you want, you can add. And in this, add uh, shai jeera and also add some cashew nut. Now, we are going to double fry the onions. Add onions. See, in the street kind of uh, daba kind of biryanis, onions are the key for making any of the biryanis very very flavorful and also the golden brown onion in any of the biryanis will make it very very tasty saute these onions till they are slightly golden in color constantly keep stirring till you have these onions nicely colored move these onions on the side now we're going to add ginger garlic paste and yogurt we're going to add the masalas i've got a little bit of garam masala coriander powder cumin powder and chili powder very little not too much Okay, because we want nice colors of this biryani, mix all of this and the flavor apart from the onions, the next one is the mint and some coriander. And now we can add the sorted vegetables. You may want to add a little extra salt now. I am going to add green peas because they are already blanched green peas. I am just adding it in this. Look at it. Nice, colorful and the vegetables also, they get the nice flavor as well as the color. Paneer is uh, kind of little bit fragile, so I'm just going to add it on the side. Add some green chili, little bit of water, and you have to check the taste. Little bit salty, otherwise your biryani will be very bland. So I knew it. In this, we're going to add some lime juice, little bit of ghee for the flavor. In this, we're going to add this rice. See, this amount of moisture, this rice is almost... 90% cooked because I have already blanched it and kept. Don't worry, just spread this rice and whatever the steam underneath will come out, flavor this rice. If you want to add some chopped coriander, add saffron water. This will give color what we want and some more of ghee on top. But you want to seal this as fast as possible. We are adding some kevda water. Kevda water will give nice uh, flavor for your biryani. Put the lid on and uh, I am going to put a pan so that nothing gets burned there and let this cook like this for 5 minutes and you should be able to see a little bit of steam coming out. That's when your rice will get that flavor. Later, you just mix it and you have a perfect biryani. The aroma is uh, beautiful. Usually, the greatest aroma comes for the mutton biryani and chicken biryani, even for the vegetable. The way I've shown you, the little bit tricks and a little bit of that kevra water made it perfect. Ah.
you have seen how much steam is come that is what the little water from there and then this rice you know you have to just take it up even the vegetables the carrot the mushroom everything have to be perfect this biryani is beautiful because of the kind of colors and everything that is there in this so when you make a biryani with even though with lot of onions look at the kind of vegetables everything perfect if you want you can even cut these vegetables little bigger but this is perfect and let it sit for 3 4 minutes and we are going to serve it a vegetable biryani always has to accompany with some kind of salan look at this true colors of the vegetables this kind of biryanis are excellent this has got so much of flavors cashew nut badam any of the vegetables look at the way you know when you eat biryani the best of the aroma is there 10 minutes after opening the lid when you make the non vegetarian food you are always having full smile when you make vegetarian you cut little sorry face no that is not the true thing i'll show you a trick how to keep a very happy smiley face even when you are making vegetarian i'm eating vegetarian but we carved out a shrimp out of this carrot that is only to encourage me to enjoy this biryani thoroughly this i look at the shrimp i eat the vegetable i look at the shrimp i eat the carrot i look at the shrimp i eat the mushroom i look at the shrimp i eat the broccoli i look at the shrimp i eat whatever your friends with raita anything you can enjoy this biryani make it the way you want and enjoy the biryani thoroughly aha shrimp mm just too good full flavor mm mm i got a cashew nut too dear friends make greatest of the greatest food with your family sit down eat it enjoy it and keep saying varava